Uh, let's talk though now to Lorraine Williamson, who's the editor of In Spain News in Marbella, because the Spanish flooding that we talked about last year, uh, last week rather, uh, is still going on and it's reaching different parts of Spain. It was mostly Valencia last uh, week and the week before. Then it was uh, Barcelona uh, last week. The airport was underwater. Uh, then it was uh, the northern uh, northeast coast. Cadiz was underwater. It's now hit Marbella, uh, which is of course a very very well known spot for people from this country to go on holiday. Lorraine, very good morning to you. Good morning. So, um, understand that uh, Marbella is now, or has been, underwater. What's the situation? Yeah, well, this, this morning, actually, it's looking OK. Um, as you can see behind me, it's very dark, but yeah. it's um, it's not raining any longer. Um, the schools have been off Wednesday and Thursday, and everything, basically, it's, it's been like a lockdown. Right. Um, so, things have, places have been flooded. Malaga, uh, in particular, has been severely hit. Um, the airport was flooded, the train stations were flooded, um, and, and yeah, it's, it's a disaster. Not as bad as it has been in Valencia, yeah. because we were given ample warning here. Right. So I think people were a lot more prepared. Um, so there's, there's not been any reported loss of life or anything like that, but obviously lots of material damage and lots of clear up to be done. Mm. I mean, we were told in Valencia that, you know, they get floods pretty much every year, but these particular floods were a lot worse. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever heard of floods in, in Malaga and Marbella before. No, I mean, it, <clears throat> what, what has happened, um, it's a weather phenomenon that's called Dana, and Dana is actually quite, quite frequent. It happens to us all the time. Yeah. Um, but this one has been particularly severe um, and it's been one after the other. There's been about three or four waves of it mm. um, since the first one in Valencia. And basically it's because the, the, the sea is still warm and the temperature has dropped. So when the cold air meets the sea air, then that's when it forms the Dana and it can um, result in intense storms and heavy rainfall. Right. We've actually seen hailstones the size of golf balls or tennis balls even yeah um one of the in in a place called la cala which is in um in the middle of the malaga region there was a, a mini tornado that attacked a, a petrol station so we've, we've seen quite a lot over the last few days here right and we've been told a lot of different things have happened in spain over the years i've got a note from mike in glasgow who says regarding the spanish floods I watched an interesting video the other week pointing out that the eu dismantled about 300 plus dams in spain over the last few years and so an awful lot of the what what would have been the kind of control of the rainfall perhaps uh, is, has been lost yeah, there's been a lot of dams lost. Obviously, we've, we've come out of a, a very severe drought as well, mm. where we do, the lack of dams has caused a shortage of water and, and a very worrying situation. Mm. So, um, why, why did they do away with the dams? What's the problem with dams? A, a, lot, a lot of them were just unused or they, they weren't safe or they were just old and needed repaired, so right. they, they just have been unused now. They just dismantled them. Fact, yeah, they just dismantled them, but in actual fact... There was an ancient Roman dam that helped save a lot of lives recently. Right. Um, so it was one of the, the oldest dams, but it, it, it was the one that worked well. It helped to dispel the water rather than the water flooding over the area. Mm. Yeah. Um, so that, well, that's what they're that quite, quite good for. Well. You know, that's why people exactly. built them in the first place, I think they'll find. Exactly. Um, what, what's the process for the weekend? Are you watching the sort of uh, the weather reports with uh, a bit more anxiety than you used to? Yeah, of course, it was, it's actually quite surreal the other day because we, ha we had this, um, it's, it's called an ES alert, where everyone's mobile phones um, have this loud sound, a warning yeah. sound. Um, so basically, when we were on red alert, we were, we were waiting on it happening. We were told it would start about 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, when it was about half past nine onwards, everyone was just sitting at home waiting on it happening. Um, and then eventually it did happen and it got worse as the day went on. So then we became, yesterday afternoon, we became an orange alert and now we're back to yellow. Okay. So everyone does look at the weather forecasts here. Yep, I'm sure. absolutely. Absolutely. Well, listen, we wish you well. Lorraine, thanks very much indeed. Lorraine Williamson there from In Spain News in Marbella. Um, isn't it funny, Emma, uh, that uh, Romans knew mm. that if you built dams, it might safeguard the population yeah. who were living in areas that might get flooded. Uh, but the EU has decided in their wisdom, we'll just get rid of those dams because we don't need them. Start uh, dismantling them. Start, Maybe they just, don't comply. Just get rid of them. Because we don't know what the Romans knew. We're cleverer than them. Uh, and instead, we'll send you an alert on your phone. Exactly. I mean, this is what's wrong with modern 
the modern world, isn't and it? And you end up seeing you've, people... You've knocked down all the dams that used to protect people, but instead you've given them a warning on a phone. Absolute devastation. You see people cling filming their cars and things. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. I'm no geo engineering some might say. expert, but I would have thought that dams are quite good at holding back the waters. Yeah. Yeah. I like mean, the Romans what's the definition knew? of a dam? Something that's built in order to hold back the water from flooding a community. But someone will have gone in and said that they don't comply yeah. with the new EU regulations yes. or something like that, right. or that they're not so safe or something or other. Yeah. And, and now, then you have people completely flooded and out now of their homes. Everybody's and everybody's underwater. Yeah. Amazing. Brilliant.